With Android Auto, you can fully appreciate the benefits of the new standard audio system. The phone interface is projected onto the vehicle's touchscreen, and in this video, we'll show you how to set up your Android device and get started with Android Auto. Let's start with the phone. Make sure to update the Android device with the latest software and a current version of the Android Auto app. Once the phone is ready, you will then need the USB cable that came with your phone, but don't plug it in just yet. First, we need to set up the phone projection. Start by pressing the Setup key on the head unit. Then, go to and select the Phone Projection icon. Here, you see the option to enable Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, or both. Also, keep in mind that when connecting Android Auto for the first time, the vehicle must be parked. So, with Android Auto enabled, plug in the USB cable that connects your smartphone to the vehicle. Give the system a minute to recognize the device. Also, accept all requests on the phone or the system to allow Android Auto. There will be a confirmation screen on the smartphone, and once you agree, Android Auto will be activated. And watch what happens when we go to the home screen now. You see the Android Auto icon. You can also assign Android Auto to the new star key, which means one-touch access to all the features of your Android phone. You'll notice how Android Auto uses graphic cards on the home screen to keep you up to date and in touch with some of the features on your smartphone. Now, let's cover some Android Auto basics. Keep in mind, when using Android Auto, the phone is controlling what is displayed on the touchscreen. You are essentially projecting the smartphone's screen to the head unit, so depending on the apps used, data charges may apply. All Android Auto functions will need to be accessed through the touchscreen or audio system controls. Compatible apps are sorted into categories at the bottom of the screen. To make a call or use other communication apps, press the phone icon. The center icon returns you to the Android Auto home screen. Music and media apps are grouped with the headphone icon. From this screen, you can also exit Android Auto and return to your Kia standard audio system without disconnecting the phone. When you return to the home screen, while Android Auto is still active, the voice recognition system will continue to access Android Auto. We hope this video helped you get started with Android Auto. Other videos are available that provide more detailed descriptions of specific Android Auto functions. For more information, visit the Kia Feature Video Channel, refer to the Car Multimedia System User's Manual, and the Quick Start Guide that came with your new Kia. Thanks for watching.